This thing gets nasty in summertime. When I grew up in the States, every summer my dad um, brought us to different countries. So every, every country we go, we had to go to the museum. So I grew up looking at all those famous paintings around the world. Every time I see the painting, I always wanted to like draw something on the, the real painting. It's, it's perfect, you know? And perfect thing to me is so boring. It doesn't look like, does it look like Kanye? It does? <laughs> Um, I went to New Jersey on August 10th when I was six years old. All the neighbors were so mean, man. They called me Pearl Harbor. And I, I'm six years old, I don't even know what Pearl Harbor is, you know. And uh, one of my, my, you know, my friends told me, yo, when, when someone says Pearl Harbor, just do this. Yeah, these, these are the ones I did for the Periton. Yeah, that's the Monet. This, this was this this was hard one too, man. It's so big and just mountains and skies. You see that 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 you know the shades on the on the white wall, the top. That's the size of Napoleon. Yeah, was that? Yeah, and, and this one that that shade. This one is a uh, this one. Yeah, the same exact size with the, the with the real ones. I try to make it exact, but at the same time make it nasty. You know, I just, just keep it ghetto. You know, and the face I never draw. I just do a smiley face. Murakami told me, he says, why don't you like paint something more personal? And it's like, you know, he, he's always looking at my Instagram. He's like, what? You got like, every week you post your wife on your Instagram. He's like, why? You know? I, like, I, I don't know. I, I love her. And it's like, okay. You know, why don't you paint your wife? I like, paint my wife? <laughs> That's how he started. Before, just like a couple months before meeting him, I, I, I was feeling I, I, couldn't, I can't go nowhere, you know? I was like, I did everything I could possibly could, you know? And no galleries are coming to me. And I, I was like, I, I was hitting the wall. Then I was like, oh my God, I, maybe I have to quit painting, get a job, the real, you know? And one morning I wake up, and he started following me. He was like, you know, the blue check, I was like, who, you know? And a um, and mon month later, I, you know, I uploaded the, the, the wannabe, the Matisse painting, and as soon as I uploaded it on my Instagram, he, he commented, oh, this, I really like it. And then I wrote like, whoa, I said, thank you. He says, I want to buy it. I was like, whoa. <laughs> you know? So she sat down and uh, I handed her the grape. And it's like, yeah, just to do anything and, you know, do with it. And she started eating the grapes. And she, she I don't know. She brought the, she, she's the one who brought the fucking broccoli and the apple, you know. I was like, so I asked her, where's the broccoli and the apple that you brought? It's like, oh, it's, it's over there. So I brought it and I just fucking threw it on, you know, on the porch, you know. <laughs> oh my God. When, when I was in Parsons, um, they fucking hated me, man. You know, I was doing what they didn't want me to do. You know, and every time I bring my pen, they say, Musaki, Musaki, Musaki. This is not how you paint. This is not how you do stuff. This is, this is the wrong way of painting, you know. And basically what I'm doing right now is what they told me not to do. <laughs> and I'm here, so, you know.